And hello everyone, I'm Christian Niculescu and today I will present you maybe probably the po most powerful data loader for Salesforce. Download the Salesforce connector, install it on your iPad Studio, and on your iPad Studio in the big data you have a wizard now. And let's see what uh, this wizard can do. So this wizard will be able to take the data from an Excel file, in my case this file. I can have here um, uh, 10,000 elements. And uh, based on this model, I will indicate the model. So I have here on my PC the model. Based on this model, the system will be able to match this model with um, what he has on Salesforce. Yeah, so he will identify name, industry, currency, billing. So we'll be able to make a match between this and he say, look, these are the, your items and this is the parameters that will match. And you see here, they are pig list. Good. And let's understand what's happened. So in Salesforce, when you want to add an account, for example, you will have here, you can put strings and so on, but sometimes you will have some parameters that are part of the combo box. Yeah. So if you come with another parameter that is not part of the combo box, the normal data loader, We'll add this here. Let's see here this. So in my case, I have automotiva and retail, which are not part of the combo, end, the combo box. Let's run the robot without an analyze. And let's see what's happened. The robot finish, I have two entries. And let's go on the Salesforce and see the entries. So on the test E1, you can see he had automotiva, yeah, which was a mistake. Yeah, so he had this value on the combo box as the first automotive. And then in this one, instead of retail, he had this one. So he put my wrong data inside of Salesforce. So what I can do now to prove that this is a very powerful tool, I will go here and I will say analyze. And I will run the robot again with analyze list to see what's happened. So again, I have two positive response. And if I take a look now on Salesforce, you will see that on test one, he was able to put correct automotive. And on the uh, test E2, he's able to put retail. But now let's go to the next step to see how powerful this can be. When you add in Salesforce, an account, for example, you can address here. So you can put data from other objects. For example, Christian Negulescu, it's a an user. So if you want to assign this account to another user, you have to provide him the ID. If you account to assign this account to a parent account, again, you have to provide him the ID. But in our case, as a simple user, we don't have this. So we provide him the names and names with errors. For example, here is Gabriel instead of Gabriela. It's consumer, consume because instead of consumer and so on. So I will have a lot of errors. Yeah. And here I will provide this uh, Excel, this model to the system. So I will go here on the wizard and I will say, please take this model. This is the model. So I will provide him this model and generate a match for this model. Now, this model has also fields that are not, uh, not valid in Salesforce. Let's see this. So he will do a match between what he finds in, the, in the, the model and what we have on the Salesforce. And you see this one doesn't have relevance. This one, again, it's blah, blah. It's, so you can go and if you, you can hit, I want to put blah, blah as this one. yeah. But in my case, I really don't want to use, uh, use these fields. So you can see that there are fields that are reference and there are fields that are pig list. So let's see what the wizard will do now. To be able to see the real power of the wizard, I will put a full analyze. Full analyze meaning that he will analyze both the IDs and the, uh, the, uh, the lists. The robot finished the job and we have two positive um, um, responses. And let's see what are the values. Yeah. So here on the first corporation, you can see that he was able to involve the partner, even the partner it was with the wrong name. You have Gabriela instead of uh, Gabriel. So he was able to add all the elements, even the elements are reference. Yeah. So he was able to correct all the data. So now here I have two data, but I have I can have 10,000 with the broken data and the robot will be able to analyze all this stuff. 
So probably this is the most powerful data loader for Salesforce. So if you don't have a UiPath, please go to UiPath.com platform, download the community one, which is trial, a trial, and then uh, install the Salesforce connector and try on your system the power of this wizard that it's probably the, the best data loader for Salesforce. Thank you very much. Have a good one.